guys, how we doing? Got the Civic back in the workshop. Uh, the paintwork's been done. So we're just gonna do the finishing touches now. Well, I'll say finishing touches, there's still a load to do. But one of them is going to be fitting a catch can, oil catch can system. So we're gonna weld in some Dash 10 AN fittings onto the rocker cover as there's no engine block breather. Um, and we're not gonna fit one to it. So two dash tens, possibly one at the front, one at the back, or two at the back. And then we're gonna fit the catch can over here. Um, I've put some foam in there to get the position right, but basically it's gonna sit something like that with that particular breather on the top. So um, fab, fab dabby dozy. <laughs> so we got to sort out a bracket that will come off uh, the top suspension mounting points. There's just enough thread in there to get a bracket on and it will come down and hang in that position. I've already tested the bonnet clearance. It's actually going to be a little bit further down than that. And then the two dash 10 lines can run straight from the rocker cover into the um, side. There's no baffling in this whatsoever. Uh, there's a central baffle. Um, but there's no actual wire wool in this. Um, so I've got some stainless steel wire wool that's gonna go in and I'm gonna force it in there and hopefully that'll actually catch a lot of the moisture. Um, I don't understand why it's not got any wire wool or anything in it, but there you go. Probably an eBay purchase, but again, we'll, we'll fly over that one. Uh, so I've just taken some measurements and we'll throw that on the CAD software system. Getting quite proud of my uh, sketches now. Um, you should also be very impressed. <laughs> so we're gonna use these tiny alley. I think this is M5 actually. So not that small, oh M4. Oh no, M5. So M5 alley rib nuts. I just measured the outside and I think it's nine mil. So we'll make this, it's just under nine mil. So we'll make these nine millimeters. I screw it. I'm gonna do the three little ones. All right, there we have it. It's cut out. I'll give it a quick lick of paint, put the folds in it and the rib nuts as well. And that's it in there. And all the bolts are clear. See right down there, so there's no fouling. And we'll get the um, tank in now, ready for the AN fittings when they arrive. So that doesn't look too bad. And there's not a lot of movement on it. It's quite shock absorbed actually. I'm still waiting for the stainless steel wire mesh to go inside or wire wall to go inside. Um, there's actually plenty of space to drain it as well right down the bottom you can't really see but definitely come round the back with a um, like half cut jug like half five litre cut jug and drain it into it once it is ready. New red going in the Civic the old red which is there is a half size red and we've got a full size Mishimoto red going in from a 88 to 91 CRX. So there's all the stock mounts removed. We're gonna just repair some of this random damage and straighten it up. Already done a little bit on the inside. So we'll get all this wire wheeled up. We'll get the new brackets placed and then welded in, ready for painting. And we'll probably either wrap the exhaust manifold or put a heat shield to protect the radiator from um, radiated heat. Just offering up the rad, see the clearance. We're gonna pull it back as far as possible. And we're gonna get it as low as possible, ideally. So it doesn't interfere with the bonnet, which I've just checked and there's at least sort of 10, 15 mil above the rad cap. But it will be sitting slightly higher than this. So that will give us some scope. Just installed the stainless steel wire wall into the catch can so it actually works correctly. On the front, the red's not in yet as I'm waiting for some bushes for the top. 
so I can place my cutouts and brackets. But the bottom's all fitted in. The brackets are all in. Cooler now on the front. I'm gonna fit rib nut into there and I'm gonna put an L-shaped bracket on there to hold that in, that shouldn't be a problem. Turns out the fender uh, radiator rubbers fit perfectly. And obviously they're a hell of a lot cheaper. I think I got 10 for like a fiver instead of being Honda money. Just drawn up the brackets in CAD and we'll get them cut out on the plasma. Not crazy about how it looks, but I think that's one mil or 1.2 mil alley. Certainly um, sturdy enough. I think the car shakes more than anything. So I'll strip it all down and we'll get the uh, painting done and then I'll get all the little brackets and everything for the oil cooler and um, expansion tank for the rad. Just got through painting the bottom section. Came out really nice with some 2K paint in a can. So that's all done. I've got the manifold off now for wrapping. Once the exhaust manifold's gone in, we're just gonna modify the rad. The only things that need modifying are the inlet and outlet, which are currently, I think, 28 mil, and they need to be 32 to match up with the stock pipe work. Um, so we'll cut them off, get them welded on, and then the rad's ready to fit, and the rest of the stuff's ready to go up. So that'll be the front end, hopefully finished off, and we can get on to the rest of the jobs. New pipe outlets welded on for the rad, and Got the two dash 10 breathers on the opposite side. Just got to send the uh, rocker cover off now to be cleaned and painted. Just got the uh, manifold back on and we're gonna get the rest of the stuff now put on. Hopefully we'll have the rocker cover back so we can finish up, but we're getting there. Up at the front, we've got the expansion bottle, the oil cooler, the rad, obviously now wrapped manifold. So we'll put the fluid back in. I've got to install the cooling fan as well, which is still on the old rad. That will go across. I've got a new fitting kit for that instead of random zip ties someone put on there. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos, subscribe, hit that bell and get the notifications. You can also check us out on Facebook, the link is going to be in the description. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.